question is for Will. Um, I hear that, I don't know where this came from, it's, maybe it's a rumor, but I hear you like to play practical jokes. And who gets the most? See, you know, I'm already getting validation on that because of Jen's reaction. <laughs> so who have you pulled the most pranks on? I, I'm no, no less or more guilty than uh, these two sitting on my left and even the two sitting on my right. Not as innocent as they appear, let me assure you. Uh, their get back is usually what they write in a scene. <laughs> Mud baths and uh, toads. Um, but uh, they're long days. To break up the day is usually, you know, to uh, try and get through it with a sense of humour sometimes. So that was part of the objective. And hey, look, can I just say, while well, I've got this thing, in case no one asks me a question again, I love you all. No, I'm just so impressed that people come so far to be here and, and support the show as they have done and, uh, you know, we're gobsmacked. Uh, what did you like the least and just like most about each of your characters? Well, wow, that's a huge question. Uh, obviously, I think the big joke yesterday, what we were talking about was uh, how kind of ineffectual Malone was in the first uh, part of the show. Um, Unconscious boy, as I like to call him, and uh, and that's where like least is feeling feeling I was made impotent by ridiculous kind of circumstances, and, uh, you know. Think I can help you there? No! Oh. Impotent in the greater sense, people. Clean it up. And uh, I liked uh, I liked when he finally started being uh, a real human. <laughs> and speaking of impotent, here's Will. Somewhere in all that, I've actually lost what the question was. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Um, lots of things to like, not many not to like. Um, perhaps uh, the only thing not to like was the physical aspect of wearing um, jodhpurs made out of 100% wool in 100-degree uh, temperatures. Sometimes through summer, we wished that we had Jen's little chamois on, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought I looked great, and then I realized I was looking at Will, so... What's the difference between, say, you know, doing roles here around in California as opposed to going down to Australia and shooting down there? I mean, what are the differences? Is it harder, easier? Where we were working, it was so beautiful. It, we were, you know, in the rainforest all the time and stuff like that. So we had battles, stuff, you know, like that with the weather and everything. But um, um, other than just dealing with, you know, the odd, weird Australian, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty nice. Um, I think they're doing a lot of stuff, though, in Canada, too, that's very similar to Australia. David, what it's like to kiss Jennifer. What are you doing? Come on in. I'm not going to ask twice. I, I think those things are all highly subjective. Um, <laughs> I remember having, very early in the show, having to uh, do a scene with Jen, and it's really hard because I, when you were, when you were, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I just, I just remember thinking this is the best job in the world. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. Challenging episode for you as an actor, and why? Challenging can be very different. Um, it can, for, um, it can. I, challenging for me was different. You know, when I had to do all of the the fight sequences and stuff like that, I had never done anything like that before. I booked the show, and then I found out that I was flying over, over to Australia in two weeks, so I didn't have very much time to prepare for it. Later on in the years, I did and got a little bit more physically fit for the character because of how physical she was. So that aspect was, was pretty difficult for me to deal with. Um, but I got used to it, and I learned to absolutely love it. I mean, it's one of my most favorite things to do now, and I'd really like to start doing more action-based, um, even films and everything. Um, so it kind of put me through training for what the future lies ahead. Um, I guess for me, uh, it would uh, have been uh, any of the times that Roxton didn't typically play himself. So. Uh, if we were uh, playing another character, I guess Bloodlust is one that comes to mind. It's 
Amazing. What is this? Um, David? I love that. Um, yeah, and just not to belabor the point, but it, it was pretty amazing when you'd show up at 5 o'clock in the morning and Jen had already worked out. Like, it was... And even in retrospect now, just trying to keep in shape in real life, but to think... I, di I don't think I appreciated how hard... Like, Will and I would have a couple days' notice, you know, so we'd maybe cut down on the bagels or something. But... <laughs> To, to have to look like her all the time and to still have all the demands that the rest of us had was, I think I've gained a new appreciation for it. Thanks, baby. Whew. Needed some drinking money for tonight. Glad I got that back. I'd just like to say, uh, Jennifer, I hope you enjoyed the soy latte. And uh, I'd uh, just like to add that you were one of the two reasons that I started watching the show. And, the oh, the other one was the dinosaurs. <laughs> but uh, my question is a joint one for Jennifer and, and David, and it's about the relationship uh, between Ned and Veronica on the show. Uh, at various points in the show's history, each one of the characters seems to have had doubts or back from the relationship. Uh, and it's like each of your personal perspectives on, on that uh, relationship, where you think it is now, and although I realize it's not up to you, uh, where would you like to see the relationship go in season four? Um, I think that the character of Malone, uh, in retrospect, all the things he was going through that kind of show up at the end, and we realize how reticent he was to go some places, uh, I liked the way it developed. Um, I liked the romance between Will and Rach uh, as kind of a, that's kind of a beautiful, you know, the dream romance. And, and yeah. <laughs> but as far as classic romance goes, it hit all oh, the elements. Go! <laughs> Lord Roxham, put me down. I said, put me down. Oh! Whatever you say. Ours, I think, is different. Um, I think we're both two people, the characters that that are doing so much growing and learning and have so much, so much in their past that, that influences the way they, they want to live their futures that um, I think up until now, are, uh, it was the right thing. I think I like the idea, I've said before, of, of two strong people, well, one getting stronger and one strong person, um, <laughs> forming a relationship. I guess I was lonely. Someone as wonderful as you should never have to feel lonely. of Roxanne has developed so much from season one to season three. Where would you personally like the character of Roxanne to go and also any relationship to Margaret? It's, uh, it's a, a challenge for the uh, writers um, in many ways to keep a, uh, a relationship like Roxanne's and Marguerite's alive and you I guess, walk a very fine line um, in not uh, perhaps overexposing all their inner emotions and, and all their frustrations. There it is again. Well, the only sound I hear is of cold feet running away. Stay here. I'll be right back. I guess um, that was the challenge. To, uh, to find a new level of relationship for them without it becoming A, boring to the audience and B, unstimulating for us. Um, where I would personally like to see it go is um, I don't know, you know. <laughs> it, it's, it's, that's a, it's an incredibly good question but it's, it's very hard to, to consummate a proper relationship with would kill a lot of, uh, you know, 
enjoyment perhaps for the audience and at the same time, as I say, to drag it out would perhaps just annoy people? It's, it's a good question. Maybe time will tell. And my question is for the three actors. What, to this point in your careers, has been your favorite role that you have played? And what is the one plum role you would just love to play? Well, Roxanne, I think, for me. Without a doubt, because I had such a fun time. It was such an amazing collaboration. Um, and uh, for me, the plum role would be uh, the next job. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I loved doing the most, um, especially on the, on the Lost World, was when we got a chance to play somebody else, like when we got to do The Outlaw and Stone Cold, and we got to play all these other characters but with the same people. And we had so much fun with them, and the, the, the storylines were so elaborate and stuff, we got to wear these different costumes, you know, it's like, <laughs> different costume, I'm clothed! <laughs> oh God, you have no idea! <laughs> Wow, it was my mother's. I really, I really loved doing the Western. You know, I got a gun in my hand, finally, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> instead of having to fight all the time. <laughs> uh, these guys had it easy with the guns. I had to show my brawn. <laughs> so far um, and I really don't know I think whatever is gonna do I really want to start doing action films and I think then that something after I do after that will probably start to progress to be my favorite so uh, yeah kind of like will this is uh, uh, my character and this was my favorite so far because um, it kind of it elevated me I think from day and weekly player to uh, you know, something a little more meaty and um, I don't know, I'm looking forward to just growing up. I think my best roles are probably about 10 years away when maybe I'm Will's age. And, um, <laughs> and I'm looking forward, just kidding. <laughs> and I think, I think I've always thought that uh, Will's next role should be James Bond. Personally. Oh, yeah! Great. Uh, I think I'll be your Bond girl. I think David's next job should be um, a producer that hires the next James Bond. <laughs> yeah, as far as a preference, uh, people tend to say that a lot of people like to play bad guys or whatever, and to me, if the writing, if the scene is about something human and there's two humans in it, um, that's the challenge for me. I, I think it's really difficult. Sometimes it's easier to be big and go over and be, you know, something, some extreme than it is to be real with another actor and to listen and to communicate. It's all right to be afraid. Afraid? What are you talking about? London. We'll talk about this in the morning. I'm not going. I can't stay here with you. I hate to break it to you, Ned. But no one asked you to. I think the writing in our show was, was great that way, and that it, the scenes often, they were so nicely written that they'd play themselves if you were true to the character. So the preference is good writing, really, because then it makes actor's job much easier. Um, there's an international gathering here today, and so my question is, um, What's it like to work on a show uh, in Australia that's not broadcast in Australia? And the second part of that is you, when you travel around the world, you know, to the States and, and back and forth, do people recognize you from the lost world or do they recognize the show? In Australia, it actually got aired, I think, the first season on uh, one of our stations there called Channel 10, but it really, it, it, it got aired, yeah, at Christmas at a funny time, uh, summer non-ratings. The, um, the appetite for action adventure isn't uh, like it is here back home. Um, there's some uh, pretty powerful Aussie, Aussie drama that people keep coming back to, and, uh, um, 
And for overseas, um, yeah, I've, I've been spotted a few times here, but it's uh, uh, actually what, what, what one time I was at NAFTI and I had some guy went, hey, you crocodile Dundee dude! <laughs> 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 I had no chance to correct him. Um, <laughs> just went with it. But it is surprising, though. You get a lot of people come up to you on the street. And my, own, my only weird one was a girl came up to me on the street corner, and she, she said, you're blah, blah, blah. And she said some very complimentary things. She said, can I take you to work? <laughs> I just worked down the street. Can I take you in and show you? <laughs> That was a bit odd, but uh, yeah, I was, I was surprised. We, it is fairly... No, I, I didn't. Uh, but yeah, it is fairly high profile, yeah. whether you know it or not. I think. There's one more thing we have to take care of. And if there's, you know, we're thinking, if there's one word to describe Lost World fans, the word is patient. <laughs> and if there is one Lost World fan who is the poster child for the word patient, it's Julianne. And is Julianne in the house? Where's Julianne? Where's Julianne? Okay. I, I believe it was about like 17 years ago at the first Lost World Convention. <laughs> Julianne spent, I was like $18,000 to, to make a donation to Make-A-Wish for a banner, which the great plan then was that Judy and I were going to take it back to Australia, and on the first day of production of season four, we were going to have everybody sign up. And it didn't quite work out that way. We have that banner here today. We've got sort of the last four signatures to go on it right here. We're going to sign it for you right here. We have some extra goodies to sort of pay interest on the patience you have shown. <laughs> and before we do anything else, we want to thank you for your support for Make-A-Wish, your support for uh, the Elizabeth Blazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation today, for being so patient, for being a fan, and now we're going to get down to business. Yeah. She lives in Atlanta. She's terrified of flying, but she bought some of these accessories on the center of the soul, and she has your hat and a couple of things. This makes me great. That is great, right? Quadruple espresso with a bit of milk. Yeah. Could you put my cans in too? Because oh, I want to get as many as I can. Thank you. I love doing charity work. Well, you know, your scripts made this con possible. You know, I knew that I knew that I was going to were going to come in handy one day, and so that's why I just kept them. But I didn't want to carry them all back, so I am. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, we thank you because that's not going on. Oh, good. Kind of yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we're very, very grateful to you. It was so to come and stay for so long with all this stuff. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah.
ever since I was a kid, I've been a great tracker. So it's like, well, okay, on my way to see everything else. And, and that's the hope of it. Series after series after series. Hi. Uh, what's and called Emmy? Emmy. Actually, I was the one who, um, the woman oh, who married Will and Kim, sent the email to asking if you could like, oh, yes, in touch. Right, and I went yes, to Dottie. Oh, very good. <laughs> One of these, or oh, are you going to pack them? Well, are you going to show them <laughs> to the, to the, the, oh yes, no, 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 here, we'll take one for our collection. Okay. Give yes. No, no, thank you. Then you saw on the uh, tribute thing they have, you know, in, in the rough cut, it says Giant Bee Attack, so what was so good about, what was that uh, Giant Bee doing? So oh, yeah. it was Marguerite gets into the bathtub, they cut That's to the gargoyle. The no CGI on it, but it says, Gar's eyes light up. Uh, <laughs> I knew they'd come in handy someday. Uh, is this the same pen? Uh, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not in any hurry for them. Okay, um, let me know where you put, like, your agent or where you want me to send it. Okay, great. Thanks. Oh, this is very, I've got actually, I've got something that looks like How are you like doing this. there? What are you making out? It's very cool. Yeah. Should we throw something yeah. in here? At a convention, she got an entry. Lord. Yes. How long did they say yet? Uh, yeah. A few weeks? Like their usual six weeks kind of thing? Uh, or? They don't know. I have to wait for them to go. X-rays? Yeah. 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 Ye
Thanks very well. Well, thank you. Give me the full spelling on Tara. Oh, oh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what are you expecting, young man, to do? Can I get my picture? Oh, please. Yeah, you bet. Let me come around yes, that side. I know I'm not me, I'll come around that side and the camera can come around this side. How's that work? Can somebody do it? Can someone press the button? Yeah, this one's really easy. Just hold it until the one's like twice. Oh, don't you just love it? Oh. Oh. Just take lots of pictures. Don't worry. Did we wind it this time? And we'll send them all to Peter and say that you are not faithful. Yeah.